Welcome back to the Knights of War. My name is Sam. We have John Murdy here, um, Executive Director over at HHN, fresh out of the panel. Um, we just have a couple quick questions for you. Sure. Uh, first and foremost, you commented on my shirt when I sat down here with Stranger Things. Uh, this is the third iteration we're getting yeah. of Stranger Things. Um, how is your approach uh, different uh, this time around? Um, with being the third yeah, time? this one is exclusively based on Stranger Things 4. And if you watch, and I'm sure you have, because yeah. you're wearing the t-shirt, that, you know, for me, as a fan, like watching that first episode, I was immediately going, oh my god, this is like perfect for a House of Horror Nights. And then as you went through the whole storyline with Vecna and his curse, and saw how, you know, it took you all these different places, to the lab in the desert, to, you know, his mind hive, all of those things were screaming to be, you know, environments in all of New Horror Nights. So, really, with that one, there was so much content to choose from. The hard part was picking what we were going to do. Yeah, I can only imagine. There's, I believe, 10 episodes. There's like 100 balls. Yeah, and they're not short. No. You know? <laughs> yeah, they're like, some of them are like longer than a feature film. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, speaking of feature films, leaving me right in my next question. Um, on Friday, while you were in the air, we had Exorcist Believer yeah. announced. Um, and this one's really unique in the sense that Exorcist Believer doesn't come out till Friday, October 13th. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how, when you're approaching this phase and creating that treatment, what do you get? Do you get an early screening of the movie? Do you get a, a script? No, it starts with the script. Yeah. yeah. We started with the script. And we were uh, de developing the house in tandem with the film as it was being shot. So it's a little different from our normal you know, procedure of how we do things. Uh, but in our mind, the way we think about it is we're creating the ultimate trailer for the film. The trailer's gonna launch, which it just did in like the last week. And now when people come to Horror Nights, they get to live it. They get to go through it and see it happen to them. And so that's the ultimate you know, trailer for anything. So we're really excited to bring that one to life. That's always, that franchise scares me more than any other franchise in horror. So uh, I love like trying to face my own fears and bring it to life for our fans. Yeah, definitely. The zoos are coming up out of nowhere. It's always more terrifying to me than anything else. Uh, last question here. Uh, we just dis discussed uh, uh, the new iteration of Universal Monsters coming yeah. to the event. Um, how does this uh, new maze fit into the existing war that's been developed at Fortnite? Yeah, I mean, we started in 2018. I always thought of that as like the Avengers movie of Universal Monsters because we tried to put as many of the characters from the franchise in that one house. And then we always thought, even back then, well, we didn't plan out that we were going to do five houses, which is where we're at now. But at the time, we were thinking, well, if this works, then we'll start spinning them off into their own stories. Um, and that's what we've done over the years. Literally, the idea for this one started last year around this time as I was walking through Legends Collide, the house we did last year, I was like, next year is going to be the 100th anniversary of Hunchback, and we should really do something to celebrate the silent films that started all of this. So that was the Jensen House part. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, John. It's always a pleasure to chat with you after this event. Go ahead and uh, come to Universal Halloween Horror Nights this fall uh, for all the great fears.